Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis Elementary Education Math Content Knowledge Test 7813? This exam covers multiple topics in elementary education. These practice questions cover the subtopic of early equations and expressions. Let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's jump in. Problem number one. The last step of solving a multi-step equation is to collect the variables on one side of the equation, or combine like terms, or use the distributive property if necessary, or multiply or divide by the coefficient on both sides of the equation. Let's go through the steps of solving a multi-step equation very briefly. One, multiply to clear fractions or decimals. Two, simplify each side. Three, add or subtract the coefficients. Four, multiply or divide to isolate the variable. So now let's look at our answers again. Collect the variables on one side of the equation. That is actually part of step one, so that is not our answer. Combine like terms. That will be part of step three, so that is not the answer. Use the distributive property if necessary. The distributive property is if you multiply a value by its sum or difference, you get the same result. That isn't a step at all, so that won't be the answer either. Now, let's just review the step, the fourth step that we talked about earlier multiply or divide to isolate the variable and let's look at our last answer here multiply or divide by the coefficient on both sides of the equation those match so that is the correct answer and i also wanted to just reinforce the golden rule of algebra do onto one side of the equal sign as you will do unto the other. So think about that going forward. Problem number two, solve for x. 2x plus 4 equals 16. Let's get started. 2x plus 4 equals 16. Remember the golden rule. So we're taking away 4 from this side and we have to take away four from this side. So two X is equal to 16 minus four is 12. Now we're going to divide each side by two. X equals 12 divided by two is six. So our answer is six. Problem number three. Using the substitution property of equality, solve the following expression. X plus Y plus 5 plus Z plus 7 equals. We know that X equals 2, Y equals 3, and Z equals 4. But what is the substitution property of equality? That states that one value can replace another value in an equation and the value will remain the same. So all we have to do is substitute x for 2, y for 3, and z for 4. So let's get started. x plus y plus 5 plus z plus 7 equals, we don't know yet, x equals 2, y equals 3, plus 5, plus z equals 4, plus 7 equals. All right, all we have to do now is add up our numbers. 2 plus 3 equals 5, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 10 plus 4 equals 14, and 14 plus 7 equals 21. And there's our answer. Problem number four. 
Simplify 4 squared minus in parentheses 2 cubed divided by in parentheses 4 times 2 close parentheses. To get started, let's review PEMDAS. PEMDAS is the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is the order we must do our solving in. All right, let's begin. 4 squared minus 2 cubed divided by 4 times 2. So we're going to solve these ones first. They're in parentheses and parentheses. So 4 times 2 is 8. Next, we've got an exponent in the parentheses, so let's do that next. 2 cubed is 8, 2 times 2 times 2. So we've got 4 squared and we've got 8 divided by 8 in parentheses, so we're still going to work there. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Now we go to exponents, 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 1 is equal to 15. And there's our answer. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.